Hey everyone, it's Amador, and today we're over here, I'm over here with Nathan over at uh, his parents' house, and what we're doing is we're going to paint this hutch, this is his mom's uh, little curio cabinet, and we're going to go ahead and paint it with some Annie Sloan chalk paint. I know some people have asked me to show some of the projects and stuff, and I always finish a project when I never actually take the before pictures or anything like that. So just to show you guys, we already took the glass out of the door and the sides and um, instead of taking out the back part, we just went ahead and covered the sides of the mirror so we're able to paint it and not worry about it. So I'm going to go ahead and paint it with um, its old okra and um, we're going to clear wax it. We're not going to use the dark wax for the stain. Uh, so it's just gonna be that so let's see how it comes out. Hopefully I don't mess it up and his mom gets mad at me So if anything we could just repaint it again, but yes I just wanted to show you guys that um, and hopefully I'll take little clips here and there while we're doing the process All right, so here we go. Okay, so here we are. I have put in a light first coat um, to cover it and then I'm gonna go over it with a, another coat and then go ahead and do a little bit of wiping it off so we can show some of the detail. This is the other side. And this is about like um, almost six feet tall. And there we go. let me show you. Right and here. to those of you guys that are wondering like how much paint I've used, this is how much paint I have used so far out of this quart. Yeah, out of the quart. This is how much paint I've actually used. And that's covered that whole thing. Um, I could have done it thicker, but the cool thing about this little curio is that it is plastic, so there is a, just kind of a, a sealer on it, a seal on it. So this is just the first layer to make sure we have a good grip, and then we're gonna go with the other one to complete it all together. And yes, I have used these, the Annie Sloan brushes that I have. Um, this one actually works better because of the finer and smaller detail as opposed to the bigger one. So now I'm just going, waiting for it to dry, and then we'll do the last coat. So here it is, uh, finally finished. This has a second coat on it, and right now, and of course in true me fashion, I completely forgot to show you how it looks before I started sanding it. So I actually use a 220 grit sandpaper, and this one is like from Home Depot or something like that, and it's 3M 220 grit. It is one of the finest ones. It feels very, very soft. It's even softer than a nail file. And if you go very slowly, you'll see right here, this is the distressing. I just did it more in the corners where there would be more wear and tear. Just slight little nicks right here. If you'll see on these, on the corners, there's just a little bit more. And the back, that looks funky, but that's where the mirror goes to the back of it. And um, so that's why I just painted the borders. But here it is along the edges. And it's not all directly just sanded completely down there. It stops and it continues and it has gaps and spaces just like natural wear and tear, but not so much that it is extremely distressed. See, so just a little bit. And here is, to show the difference, I realized closer to <laughs> almost being done and Kathy reminding me that um, this is how it looks prior to the sanding. You see the solid colors and you see right here, I started to, I actually started sanding from the top and then started down. And just to show you guys the difference, this is what it looks like on the solid, with the solid color. And you move over here with just the light sanding and more focusing, uh, focusing more on the actual edges. You see the difference of uh, the paint. So now I'm just gonna finish this panel up and I still have to do the bottom, but it's going pretty quickly and out of, the um the sandpaper this is this these come in at eight and a half by eleven sheets they look sorry for the shakiness they look like this and this is like it says no slip grip 220 grit and so far this is the only piece that i've used i just fold it or cut it up with scissors and i fold it in threes that way you can hold it like this in any way and this way when it's folded right here it can go in the little nooks and the crannies so um, I just closed off the can, but let me go ahead and open it so I can show you how much paint in total I use. Okay, so here is the quart, and like I said, this one is the old okra. It has more of a creamy tint, um, almost a little hint of gray, um, I mean a little bit like a hint of um, 
I'm gonna have to say like a sand or something, I'm not sure. But this is how much of the paint I have used. As you can see right there, we're not even down. This is probably less than a third. So this stuff goes a long way. And like I said, and that is with two coats um, because it was a plastic and I wanted to make sure it was coated well. But and that's Nathan's leg right there. Say hi, Nathan. Hello. He's very occupied. And this is Nathan's mom, Kathy. Hi, say hi, Kathy. <laughs> okay, so this is... And since this um, paint does have... Um, low or if I'm not mistaken by the end of the year, it's going to have no OVCs. You can actually do this and this is us doing it in the living room right here. But yes, so let me go ahead and finish and then I can finish sanding and then wipe it down with a damp cloth to make sure um, we get rid of all of the dust. Actually, we're also using a vacuum cleaner to make sure that we pick up the dust. And so here we are in the last part where I have already sanded the entire piece and waxed it with a clear soft wax and um, <clears throat> replace the mirrors. Here you can see the detail and you see it has a little bit of a shine and that is because of the wax. The wax is just fresh. It will take, it'll probably be like that for a day or two. And then if I recall my classes, in 21 days it cures. So that means it becomes solid and everything. So super awesome but it's fully functional fully usable and i'm trying not to make you guys dizzy because there is a mirror right there and there i am to show you guys the detail but the entire thing is waxed and i used my new um one of my new wax brushes which is the and look and you can see nathan's stepdad over there in the corner that's michael say hi michael hi. and that's uh nathan's reflection right there so um that is the full detail see. Um, on the lower part right there I use this new brush this is one of the Annie Sloan ones it is awesome totally worth it because it's ergonomically correct and everything but it is better for you to get into the more decorative nooks and crannies as opposed to the other one which is flat and that one I did use for the other surfaces um, you can Use other brushes. I just really like the fact that they work awesome. But here we go. Just run a little close up. It's a little bit distressing. We didn't paint the hardware. And here you can see the base. You can still see we have the plastic out here because I didn't want to ruin their beautiful wood floors. And that is it. And like I said, I used less than a third of a quart of the um, chalk paint. And of the wax, it's, if you use it right, you do not use a lot of it as well. There's Nathan again. And <laughs> so yes. So that is it, you guys. See, look, I even painted the inside so it has a more uniform. I didn't want to leave it just um, the brown color inside so it has more of a uniform look to it. So that is it. So let me know what you guys think. Um, this is actually one of the full, actually full-size furniture pieces I've, had, I've ever finished with the um with the chalk paint and so yeah so Bridget if you're watching hi thank you for all the help with everything and that is okay it's and I almost forgot to show you guys the inside I also painted the inside with the paint so once again when you open it it is uh, completely uniform and I distressed on the outside but not the inside of course that there you go and here I'll show you guys I'll actually show you guys the inside. This is a little hardware that came with it. See, totally, totally awesome. Absolutely love this paint. Totally recommended. And that, just wanted to show you guys the, the upper details right there.